Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite heroes ever, which are the sweet cinnamon roll heroes. I love a sweet man. Like sweet men, ugh, make me swoon so hardcore. Honestly way more than an alpha guy does. Like give me a sweet caring cinnamon roll man that I could just like pinch his cheeks. Like give it to me now. So these are 10 romances with a man who are super sweet and cinnamon rolly. Um, I do have one previous recommendation video with this trope, so I'll link that down below if you want even more recommendations. But let's get to talking about these sweet, caring men. First man that I would love to talk about is Liam Kelly from Finding Gene Kelly. This man is so stinking sweet, but Evie has no clue. The heroine of this book has no stinking clue. So these two actually grew up as like friends, but then in high school, something happened where they're not really friends anymore. They don't talk. Evie kind of considers Liam to be like her mortal enemy of sorts. She has no clue though that Liam has been crushing hardcore on her all these years. Evie lives in Paris now. She moved to Paris and um, her best friend shows up to come visit her, but Liam? is there too. She's like, why is Liam here? And there's a bunch of stuff going on, but long story short, these two characters have to fake date. I absolutely love Liam. He is so sweet. And even Evie's just like, why? Why don't I like this guy again? Like, why don't I like him? Like, what did he do again? <laughs> like, she's like, this guy is so sweet. Like, she can't believe that this guy who she's held a grudge for for so long cares so much for her. Sorry about the dog moaning. <laughs> Evie also has endometriosis, which is own voices rep, by the way. Tori Jean herself also has endo. I love the representation in here. And there are certain scenes where Liam helps take care of Evie when she's having a flare, when she's not feeling well. I love that so much. As someone who is also chronically ill, I am obsessed with men who do a lot of caretaking and take care of women when they're sick or ill or injured, whatever the case may be. I eat that. I eat that up. I eat that up. <laughs> Liam in here, perfect, amazing, so stinking sweet. If you have not read this book yet, what are you doing with your life? Go and meet Liam. One of my favorite men of all time now is Bo from Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. Oh my word, this man. <laughs> I love him so much. We also have another like caretaking hero, like the ultimate caretaking hero. These two characters meet at a Halloween party and um, they're both kind of dressed up in the same costume. People think they're a couple's costume. They both are dressed up as pirates, but they didn't come here together. And that starts also like a very interesting conversation that leads into like the best night like ever for both of them in a very long time. They have a one night situation together. It's very hot. They don't really expect to see the other person afterward, but they want to. And then um, things happen a little faster than they would like in their relationship because when, the heroine of the story, finds out that she is pregnant from that night. From the moment she tells Bo, he is all in. He's all in with taking care of Wynne and being there for her and wanting the best for her and their future baby. Like he wants, he wants the best for them. He tells Wynne like, you don't really live in a safe part of town and I wanna be close to you and the baby. Please come live with me, come move in with me for the foreseeable future, if you don't wanna to live together after the baby's born or after a certain point when the baby's born, like we can definitely do something, but like I'm gonna take care of you and what you need while you're pregnant. And then hopefully when the baby's born, we can help each other out as well. Um, and they kind of make this deal when when finds out she's pregnant is like, they're not gonna act on their romantic feelings for each other because they want the best life possible for their kid. And if they were to like break up or things not work out between the two of them, like it would be kind of bad for the kid they think. So they're like, okay, we're not gonna act on our feelings, but they cannot help themselves. They become each other's best friend in every way possible. And Bo in here, it's like a dream man. <laughs> he is a dream man. Hannah Bottom Young knows how to write men that are absolutely fantastic. If you have an Audible membership, you can actually listen to this next book for free. And it is called Sweet Talk by Cara Bastone. It has like a, um, like, what's it called? Like graphic audio kind of? There's like background noises and different narrators and stuff. It's really fun. So the hero of this story, he's so 
sweet. Um, he's texting his sister one night, checking with her, talking to her like he normally does, but he accidentally sends the text message to someone else in his phone, saved under like a nickname of sorts, and he can't figure out who this person is or what the nickname stands for. He cannot figure it out. And this person ends up responding and they have kind of like this texting relationship for a little bit and it leads to phone calls and talking to each other. They don't know who the other person is in real life. And the hero of the story is trying to figure out who this woman is that is slowly becoming the woman of his dreams. And she won't tell him who she is. Like she wants him to find out on his own because um, she knows who he is. <laughs> so this one is super fun. Our hero in here is so incredibly sweet. Um, he's a little shy. He also has dyslexia. So I love that representation in this story um, because like the reason why he ended up sending a message to the wrong person is because he did like a voice to text feature and just said like, send it to so-and-so and the phone thought it was somebody else so that's how it ended up being sent to the wrong person in the first place um but i love our hero in this story he is so incredibly sweet and um i love how hard he falls for this woman without even like knowing what she looks like another shorter one is dad bod wingman by carla doyle i think this is one of the books in a series where one author has like contributed a story about like bigger men. So if you're wanting plus size rep with men specifically, be sure to go check out these books. I want to read more in a series for sure, but I've only read this one. This one is a friends to lovers romance. Our hero and the heroine were like friends growing up, but the hero ends up moving back to their small town after being gone for a while and he now owns this bar. He ends up running into his friend and finally decides to shoot a shot and ask her out. And very surprisingly, he thinks surprisingly, she says yes right off the bat. So it's about him trying to woo his friend that he's had feelings for for quite a long time. And he doesn't know that she has been feeling the exact same way. He is just so stinking sweet. He's so sweet. Like his inner monologue of how he feels about this woman. I love him. Like, I just want to pinch, pinch his she's big cheeks another novella is big baker by cassie mint i love the books in the big boy series another big boy a plus size man and i am loving this representation i need more by the way if you have more recs possibly like longer books because i get a lot of it novellas but i want like longer books with plus size men and you don't really get that a lot so please leave your recommendations down below if you have any but big baker our hero and the heroine end up working at the same hotel the heroine is a cleaner and she loves the baker in the hotel his big treats like she like swoons over them all the time and starts swooning over the hero she like finds him to be so talented and amazing and awe-inspiring and how talented he is he's able to make these delicious treats no one knows this but she has a secret identity where she's been painting these murals around town that are absolutely beautiful so she decides to kind of paint one in front of his house that is stunning and he thinks it's amazing so he's trying to find out who painted this mural for him that's all i'm gonna tell you <laughs> um it's a short little read by cassie mint can't really go wrong with a Cassie Mint novella. I know it's the Christmas holiday season, so one for this season is How the Duke Saved Christmas by Anna Harrington. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about this book. I love it so much. Our heroine and hero were actually engaged about a year ago. The heroine ended up experiencing a accident in a carriage, which left her with the inability to walk. She's not able to move her legs anymore. She ends up breaking off the engagement with her fiance, who she was very much in love with because she thinks she can't be a good duchess. He's a duke. So she's like, I cannot be a duchess. I can't walk. There's no way I could run a household, do everything a duchess should do. So I'm going to not accept his proposal anymore. And she is absolutely miserable and devastated. And her heart is kind of hardened after this experience. The hero this whole time has thought that the heroine broke off their engagement because she blames him for the carriage accident and her injury, which is not the case at all. At the beginning of this book, they haven't seen each other in a few months and about a year maybe. And the heroine's brother is like, okay, we're like snowed in on this road. We can't get anywhere, but my friend and your ex fiance lives pretty close by. And I bet you he can let us stay for a few nights. And she very reluctantly agrees and goes with him to the Duke's house where the Duke is taking care of his nieces and nephews. And he full on accepts the heroine and her brother to like come stay with them for a few days. And he's gonna make it his life's mission to soften Clara the heroine's heart all over again and show her how much he is still in love with her. He is one of my favorite historical romance heroes. He is so caring and sweet 
and gentle and kind. Like I, I love him. If you're wanting a sweet hero, you cannot go wrong with an Ashley Bennett book. Like Ashley Bennett is the queen of writing cinnamon roll sweet heroes. So I gotta start with what started it all. This is Muscles and Monsters, the first book in her Leviathan Fitness series. This is a series where like takes place in our world, but like monsters and humans kind of like live together in harmony. The hero of this story, he is a wolf creature you can see on the cover. And um, he owns a gym down the street from Tegan, our heroine's bakery. Tegan ends up walking down the sidewalk in between their businesses to put one of like the layers of the cake she made in her car. And one of them like plops on the ground right in front of Atlas the hero of the story and from that moment on the hero's like tail does not stop wagging like he is so sweet and like obsessed he's like looking at his tail like you better stop like you better stop like he cannot help himself both of these characters are super sweet Tegan even hones like a bakery and she's like sugary sweet and Atlas is even though he's like this beefy gym bro like he He's so incredibly kind. I love him. Another monsterish one is The Half Orcs Maiden Bride by Ruby Dixon. Yes, we have a um, orc character who is sweet. I think even in the author's note, Ruby wanted to make him like this scary orc man, but she's like, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I tried to, I tried to make this ominous villainous orc character and I couldn't do it. So he's this sweet cinnamon roll orc instead. And I love that. I love that. Like this is the type of, these are the type of characters that Ruby writes. Like I love her for it. I The last two books in this video are gonna be Ruby books as well. So buckle up. So um, this one is a fantasy romance where our heroine here, Yolanthe, has um, finally found a husband. Her dad has set her up with somebody. She's been wanting a husband for so long, but she's very tall. And a lot of the townsfolk like don't wanna marry her because of that. Like, cause she's taller than all the men. And she's very shocked when her dad brings her to her betrothed and it's a half orc hero. These two are very intrigued by each other, however, and um, thus starts some marriage rituals that are very good. Very, very, very good. <laughs> Another Ruby one is Barbarian Lover, which is the third book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series, Ahako can get it. He is like full on into Kira. Kira's a heroine in here, one of the human women who crashed on the ice planet full of blue aliens. And Ahaka like knows from the beginning, like she's mine, like she's gonna be mine. She, are, she, like, she, just, she doesn't know yet, but she's gonna be mine. She might like reject me, but it's okay. Cause she actually wants me. He's very respectful about it. He's like, I'm just gonna bide my time and be patient and wait for her because this woman is my mate. It's inevitable. But he's really sweet about his like, progression of pursuing Kira and he knows that she's experienced quite a lot of trauma with other aliens so he's very sh like slow to show his love and his affection um in certain aspects but he's also very goofy and isn't afraid to show his um like adoration for this woman. <laughs> Sam's Secret is the last book that I'm going to talk about today. This is book number 14 in the Ice Home series which is the spin-off to Ice Planet Barbarians. And I can't really talk about this book all that much because you're not supposed to really know who Sam's love interest is, but you know, you've seen him throughout the whole series. Um, and he is so sweet. Like he's one of the most sweetest cinnamon roll heroes ever. And a sea of cinnamon roll heroes on this ice planet. He is like top two. <laughs> he is so caring and nice. And Sam's experienced quite a lot of trauma in her life um, with romantic partners and her hero is here to reassure her and be there for her every step of the way. I love this one so much. Anyways, there you have it. Those were 10 romances with heroes that are sweet and cinnamon roll-esque. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any baked treat emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.